In a forest in Eastern Europe, a pig runs as fast as possible to escape from its owner. It prefers to die from starvation and be free than live as a slave for a human. On a road nearby, foreigner Sam is driving around as he looks for his father, whom he never got to meet. He doesn't speak the local language, but he carries a picture of his dad to ask any person he sees about him. After another failed attempt, Sam gets distracted by the picture strangely floating on the passenger seat and accidentally runs over a pig in the middle of the road. Sam immediately checks on it and notices the pig is badly hurt, so he puts it in the back seat and drives around looking for help. It isn't until night falls that he finds a store, but it's closed and he can't find anybody around. When Sam checks on the pig again, it's sadly passed away. Moments later, Sam begins digging a hole near the forest to bury the pig. Suddenly he hears a noise among the trees and looks up to see a person, who stares at him before running away screaming. This causes the pig to wake up because it's not dead after all, so Sam takes it back to the car. At that moment he's approached by the person from the shadows, it's Kirk, the pig's owner. Thankfully she speaks English, so to make up for having hit her pig, Sam offers to drive them home. On the way to the ranch, he notices the pig keeps shaking in Kirk's arms as if it didn't want to go back. When they arrive, the pig joins its siblings while Kirk shares some food and drink with Sam. Unfortunately she doesn't know his father, but she does offer him a room to spend the night. Sam quickly falls asleep without any clothes on, and Kirk goes outside to look at the stars and thank her dead mother for sending her such a wonderful gift. A few hours later, Sam is suddenly woken up by Kirk's father Gustavs and Jankukes, the neighbor's farmhand. Sam can't understand what they're saying, but Gustavs thinks he looks strong enough and Jankukes suddenly knocks him out with a headbutt. Afterward Sam is taken to the barn, where they give him a collar and chain him to the wall. Jankukes is worried that a foreigner will win over Kirk's affections instead of him and tells Gustavs to feed him to the pigs, pretending he's worried about a stranger hurting them or destroying the farm. Gustavs ignores him and leaves for now, so a frustrated Jankukes kicks Sam a couple of times. Kirk tries to be kind and sweeps the hay to make a bed while Sam tries to pull the chain from the wall to no avail. Desperate, Sam tries to beg Kirk to free him, but Gustavs comes back to beat him down with his cane. In the morning, Sam wakes up cold and in pain. Kirk and Gustavs come with two buckets, one that has nasty food for him, and one with food for the pigs. As Kirk shows him how to mix it, she explains that he must feed the pigs and he'll reward it with proper food, otherwise Gustavs will hit him again. Sam kicks the bucket and says he refuses to be her pig, so Gustavs wants to punish him for it. However Kirk holds him back, pointing out Sam can learn by starving. Later in the evening, they leave a proper tray of food for him, but it's out of his reach. Sam even tries to grab it using his feet, but he slips and a pig ends up eating everything. The next day, Sam is seen by Jankuk's bosses Marks and Wilhelms while they're looking at the pigs to buy some. Sam asks them to help him, but the men notice what a strong body he has, so they ask Gustavs to sell Sam to them. Jankukes panics as he realizes he'll be replaced and begs them not to do it, revealing these guys are his father and uncle yet they treat him like a slave. Gustavs refuses to sell Sam saying he was sent by God, so the brothers buy some pigs instead. In the middle of the night, Jankukes returns to the barn and cuts the chains to help Sam escape. At that moment Kirk comes out of the house and sees them, so Jankukes tries to stop her from chasing them while Sam keeps on running. Kirk tells Jankukes that death is better than being with him, but since Jankukes keeps on being aggressive, she pretends she wants to kiss him instead. Once Jankukes is close enough, she tries to hit him, but Jankukes quickly pushes her down and threatens to cut her nose off. At that moment Sam comes back and puts his chain around Jankukes' neck as they fall to the ground, struggling against each other. Suddenly a shot can be heard, it's Gustavs, who sends Jankukes home and captures Sam again. The next morning, Kirk gives Sam pants and proper food to thank him for saving her life. Sam accuses her of luring him to her ranch to capture him, but Kirk points out he was the one who offered the ride. Then Sam agrees to collaborate and starts by washing the pigs, trying to show them that someone does care for them. Afterward Gustavs puts a longer chain on him so he can go out to chop wood, and when the door opens, Sam finally gets to see sunlight again. He rushes outside and enjoys feeling warm, but Gustavs interrupts his moment to ask him to kill a pig with a mallet because they'll be cooking it for a party. Sam is disturbed by the idea and refuses, so Gustavs kills it himself. Then Sam is stuck cleaning up all the entrails and blood. The pig he saved watches him work and suddenly Sam is startled to hear it say mama and my mama, so he runs back inside to throw up. The following day, Kirk washes Sam up in a big bucket. She explains Gustavs will show him off at the party to make the whole family jealous, so he must look good. She also mentions he should set a good example for the other pigs. Then he is given nice clothes and taken to the table, where they're serving the pig. Sam is allowed to eat and drink with them, but the chain always stays on. Meanwhile Jankukes is kept away in a corner like a dirty dog. After dinner, they play some music and have fun, and Kirken drags Sam to dance with her. Jankukes watches with great envy, and when Marx and Wilhelms come to drop some leftovers, Jankukes begs them to marry him to Kirk so they can have the ranch too. However the brothers remind him he's just their dog and start giving him orders, making Jankukes get on his fours, bark, and even give him belly rubs. 
While Jank Hukes is distracted, the ranch dog steals his food. Suddenly Gustavs interrupts the dance to separate Sam from Kirk, saying he doesn't deserve her yet. Kirk tells him to go, and on his way back to the barn, the dog starts barking at him. Sam immediately gets on his fours and barks back, scaring the dog into hiding. At that moment Jank Hukes comes out of the dog house and barks at Sam, indicating he should sleep in the trash. Sam stares at the pile and realizes his car is nearby, so he gets inside and barely closes the door because of the chain. Being back in the car helps Sam feel like himself again, and he even finds candy in the glove box. After eating it with gusto, he finds the car keys and turns the vehicle on, causing the wipers to start moving and clean the glass. Sam notices Kirk standing in the front of the car screaming that he's trying to escape and the entire family comes to drag him back into the barn by the chain. He tries to explain he hadn't been trying to escape, which would be impossible because of the chain anyway, but his words fall on deaf ears and Gustavs punishes him in front of everyone by hitting him with a branch. Then everyone leaves without untying him, so Sam spends the night with his arms around a column. The next day, Sam is kept on a short chain so he can't move much. While Jank Hukes and another farmhand are buying a bunch of piglets, the pig that Sam rescued comes to check on him. Sam tells it to leave, but soon the pig comes back with pliers and Sam uses them to escape. He carefully sneaks around and hides in the truck with the pigs, and the little guy he saves comes along too. The truck takes off but when it reaches the road, a tire fails and causes the vehicle to shake for a mile or two until it falls. When Jank Hukes comes out through the window, he sees Sam and the pigs running away as fast as they can. Back in the ranch, Kirk discovers Sam is gone and has a breakdown, so Gustavs rushes out to find him. Moments later, Sam continues to run through the forest until suddenly he falls into a trap hole and faints. He wakes up in the middle of the night and tries to climb out but fails no matter how hard he tries, so he also has a breakdown while staring at the stars. In the morning, a rope suddenly falls down the hole and Sam discovers the pig has come to save him. Sam immediately comes out, and then the pig helps him to finally get rid of the collar and the chain. At that moment Sam discovers that all the other pigs are here too, so he decides to be their leader and guide them through the forest, especially since he can hear wolves howling in the distance. For the first time in his life, Sam is surrounded by ears that actually listen to him, so he starts having full conversations with the pigs and sharing all his inner troubles. Eventually they find a bunch of trash in the middle of the field and while he watches the pigs eat, Sam realizes he has nothing to love. His search for his father has failed, he doesn't have the strength to go home, and nobody is missing or waiting for him in his country anyway. At the same time, Kirk won't stop thinking about him and keeps hoping he'll come back to her. Later that night, Sam stops to rest with the pigs and realizes he is harboring feelings that make him want to cry and laugh at the same time. The pig explains it by saying Kirk. While hearing the wolves howl again, Sam decides he shall go back to Kirk. In the morning Sam starts making his way back to the ranch and the pigs follow him even though he tells them they can stay back. When they make it out of the forest, Sam hears a shot. It turns out Gustavs is nearby looking for him with Marks and Wilhelms while using Jank Hukes as their tracking dog. Sam tries to hide by sneaking through the cornfield, but Jank Hukes follows his nose and sees him coming. Gustavs finds him first and threatens him with his weapon, asking for the pigs in return for giving Sam a longer chain again. Sam can hear the piggy nearby but doesn't say a word, and soon Jank Hukes comes with the siblings. Since Gustavs doesn't shoot because he wants his pigs back first, Jank Hukes tries to take the weapon so he can shoot Sam himself. While the four men struggle, Sam runs away, only to freeze when he hears a shot. He immediately goes back and finds the pigs licking Gustav's leg wound, so Sam picks him up and takes it back to the ranch. Gustav's is so grateful for his help that he agrees to treat him like an actual person and even gives him permission to marry Kirk. While she takes care of her father's injury, Gustav's asks her to save the bullet so he can rub it on the brother's faces later. Afterward Kirk tells Sam that she lost the bullet and makes him take it out of her intimate parts. Then she translates what her father said and Sam agrees to marry her while the piggy watches him from afar. That night, the new couple is about to get dirty when suddenly they hear the dog barking and notice a bright light from the window. They rush outside to discover the barn is on fire and they can hear the pigs crying, so Sam runs in to rescue them all. At that moment Jank Hukes shows up, revealing he started the fire because he's furious over the news of Kirk having a fiancé. He corners Kirk against a tree and asks her to run away together, but Sam comes out and starts a fight. Thankfully he manages to make Jank Hukes drop the torch before they grab each other, and after Jank Hukes fails to choke him, Sam throws him on the ground and pushes his thumbs into Jank Hukes' eyes, making him cry and squirm in pain. Most of the pigs get to escape, but sadly one runs out with flames on its back. Sometime later, Kirk and Sam get married. Wilhelms and Marks pay compensation to Gustavs and agree to drop their rivalry. In the future, they lose all their livestock to an outbreak of bird flu and end up bankrupt, so they self-delete. Gustavs happily watches his daughter get married, but he dies of a heart attack that very same night. Kirk and Sam take care of the ranch together, and Kirk soon gets pregnant. One morning, Sam checks on the pig he saved, which is now much bigger. The animal says goodbye and leaves the ranch, making Sam wonder if he gave up too fast and if he should try going on a journey again.